adventure. I haven't been in this one in, I would say, seven years. It's crazy, you know, the city's so big, you don't get around to this other side of town. Excuse me. And then I was thinking, you know, I usually come to Wednesdays, because Wednesdays is half off on the clothing, but I'm kind of staying away from the clothing. I just cleaned out my closet. So, unless I see something positively pop out, you know, say, grab me, grab me, grab me, then I'll get it. But other than that, I'm really not going to wait until Wednesdays just to come look at clothing, you know? That's some jewelry. That's pretty. Come back here. I don't know if these are their prices or not. I guess they are kind of fancy price tags now. They're cute. Oh, it's so cool in here. I think my classroom has an issue with the AC. I think it just started today. Yeah, it was me and... Where was it? And then in the office downstairs... It was super hot. And then I walk into this other classroom and it was so cold. I was like, oh gosh. Whatever. Oh, here's some handbags. Let's see what they got. Uh, nothing. Nothing spectacular. That's a nice tote. I don't know whose it is. Because I can't read it. Can you read it? I can't read what it says, but it's really cute. Kind of a green satin thing. Okay. Everything in a little cubicles like this. Easy to see everything. Oh, they have it all encased and they have it very reasonably priced. $1.99 for those pretty little dish. Those two pretty little balls. That's beautiful. $1.99. Okay, so I love the furniture at Salvation Army. They always have wonderful furniture. And they reduce it. If you ask them if it's been sitting here so many months or a month, they, they automatically start knocking down 10, 20%. If you ask, if you don't ask, they won't do it. And they have a nice lion head. That's pretty. Six bucks. I like that. Purple and pink. They have the cutest glass bear inside the case over there. He's really cool. It's a purple bear. He's acrylic. Here's some green stuff. I like the little glasses with the stripes. I don't think they're mid-century or anything, but they're pretty. What have you found lately? Hand-painted Japan. Very nice, very nice face. Look at the way it looks like a, just a, a little rolled up paper. I had the prettiest German mug that was called the paper and it looked just like that and then the handle actually protruded so it was just gorgeous and it broke. I cannot believe it. I think my husband broke it. Maybe I should blame him. I don't remember but it broke. It was the only one I had. I always was hoping I would find another one but I never did. I used to collect these too. First married, this was one thing I always liked to buy. It's awfully expensive. Four dollars. Could have been a set though. I like that crown. How cool is that? Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I love that whole vibe here with the red and the regalness of it, don't you? This tray is nice too. Oh, look at this little dish. That's really nice. That's pretty. Six dollars. That is just lovely. Let's see what else we have. Oh, look at the little rooster. He's pretty. Look at that rooster, guys. He's kind of abstract. Really cool. Espresso cups are cute. I like that. Nice little highball glasses. Some pheasant on there. This belongs inside another little warmer or something. So, been eating that. 
for snacks in lieu of dinner. After Monday and Tuesday, even the calendar says WTF. Yeah. Very cool. Yes. Little onion down there. Look at the furniture. It's always so nice. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this. Look at that, guys. And it's 219, so wow. What oh, perfect. Maybe it's even a gentleman's dresser, right? Oh, that's so cool. I love it. I love mid century furniture. It's just so charming. Could be a bar. I'm just looking at furniture. I have absolutely no room for furniture. I like to keep Austin weird. I have one of these with Leo. Oh, and I do like these. This is USA. This is nice. Yeah. Buffalo, China, guys. Awesome. Awesome make if you ever run into it. And it sells well. It really does. It's an old hamper. So now the music is not blaringly loud like it is at some other stores. Sometimes I can't. I know you can't even hear me. But, oh my gosh, those pallets. I thought it was a, I thought it was a coffee table. It's the pallet. My daughter was looking for patio furniture recently. I think she found some there. Yeah. Here at the Salvation Army, I know they get a lot of donations from one of the big stores here. Big furniture stores here. So there's often really, really nice furniture here. It may have a ding or it may have been returned just because the customer didn't like it anymore or whatever changed your mind and they can't put them back on the floor oh there's some more vintage bases oh my gosh oh, I had a dresser just like that too vanity actually I had one just like it but we moved so many times that it actually broke no mine actually my mirror went all the way to the floor it went all the way to the floor but look how gorgeous that is oh my gosh look at that amazing piece Oh, wow, wardrobe, vanity, the whole bit. How gorgeous is that? I love it, just love it. Look at all that inlay. Look at that amazing work. Look at that amazing detail work. Oh my gosh, I love it. So smooth. It's probably, what, 100 years old? I don't know. Just amazing. 20% off this item. And there's the gorgeous nightstand. I love it. They didn't have closets in their homes. They had their little built-in armoires. And look at the mirror. It's just so pretty. Just gorgeous. See what they want it. Oh my gosh, they're giving it away at $229. I remember, I think I guess the early 80s was when I had mine. And I don't even remember where I bought mine. But mine, the mirror went all the way down. All the way down. It's like a full length mirror. And actually that is kind of a full length mirror. To tell you the truth. They were very, very high priced. They were like all over the place. High priced at the antique stores or the, the resale shops and the vintage shops. Here in Houston, I guess you could say the Westheimer Montrose area has a lot of beautiful antique places and shops and they were through the roof. So to see something like this for $200 and actually less, it's 20% off, it's just amazing, but very nice. Very nice to see that. I just wish I had the room. <laughs> Again, I'm actually trying to get rid of furniture, but when I do get rid of it, like I said, I put a big dresser like this, full-size chest of drawers like this, or dresser right now, this is a dresser, in my closet. And so I'm using the base to store jewelry boxes. They're in the closet, and I'm going to get rid of a lot of jewelry boxes too. I'll probably bring some to my auction and uh, just try to consolidate things. Maybe when I do all of that and I bring my mother's bed back into my room, after I refinish it, I'll probably do it over the spring break. Or the, no, Christmas break. The next break is, is Christmas break. I'll try to do that. It usually takes about a weekend if I'm diligent. And uh, maybe I will have room to bring in a pretty vanity or something. We'll see. We'll see. I'm just really into the, not so much the minimalist, but definitely, like I said before, 
really trying to avoid having to uh, leave all my things for others to clean up and throw away. And that's basically what happens to so many of our of our things, right? Or you have an estate sale and people come in and say, what? I can't believe she even bought that. What was she thinking? Look at the sectional, guys. 1966, I'll bet. Just gorgeous. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. The style of that is just amazing. Love the sectionals. So pretty. Look at those little roller wheels. So cute. All right, I'm just gonna start through the bags real quick. And then we'll leave. I don't think I really saw anything that wants me to to take it home. But we're going to call it a day. This is leather, but it's kind of in need of cleaning for sure. Anyway, that's the end of my excursion to Salvation Army. I haven't been to a Salvation Army in a long time. And I haven't filmed in a Salvation Army in a long time, so I sure hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Come back again really soon for another video. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. Hit the bell as well. That will notify you when I put up a fresh video or when I go live so you can talk to me in real time. And uh, I thank you for your time. Bye.